Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to make printable planner pages in Canva that you can sell on Etsy. So to get started, head to canva.com. Once you're logged in, head to create a design in the upper right hand corner. For this document, I'm going to use the worksheet US letter portrait size, which is eight and a half by 11. So if you pick the worksheet, it gives you templates that you can decide to use. You can just type in the search bar what you're looking for. But for this video, I'm just going to use lines and circles and other shapes to create the printable planner page. So what we're going to do first is put in some guides. Head to File, Settings, and Add Guides. Click on Custom. And for this, I need four columns. So I'm going to put four in the column section. And for the margin, I'd like a half inch, so I'm going to put 0 0.5. And once I put that in, I'm going to hit add guides. So I'm setting these guides up for a weekly planner page. Type L on your keyboard to bring up a line. Head to the line style and change the line weight to one. You can decide to do a solid line or a dotted line. I just ended up sticking with solid. You can click here to change the line color. I just used a dark gray color. So now I'm going to take my line and move it up to the top. And essentially with this page, it's going to be a weekly page. At the top, it's going to have the day of the week with the time going along the left-hand side with lines in between so you can add different tasks that you need to do for that day. Type T on your keyboard to bring up a text box. So I already put weekly up at the top. That's where the day of the week is going to go. Hit T on your keyboard to bring up another text box. And now we're going to add in our times. So originally I started at 6 a.m., but once I started copying and pasting each section, I decided to start it at 7 a.m. And so now I'm just shortening the line so it fits within that column. I select my line and hit Control D on my keyboard to duplicate the line. All four lines and right click and hit space evenly and tidy up. And then I just adjust the lines to fit the width of the column. So each one of these columns is going to have a day of the week. This page will have Sunday through Wednesday. So now I select my time and my lines and hit Control D on my keyboard to duplicate it. And then I would just keep doing that process to get the rest of the times. And once I have those how I want them, I select the 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. time slot and then I duplicate until it fills the length of the page. Then I'll just have to go back and edit each time block. Hit R on your keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And basically what I'm going to do is have the columns alternate in color. So one column will be white, the next column will be a light gray, the next one white, and the next one light gray. And kind of the reason I decided to do the alternating rectangles is that it's hard to center elements within your column. So I'm using the rectangle as a way to be able to center like the word Sunday in each of the columns. And if you head up to color, you can change the color of your rectangle. So I'm going to use a light gray color so that way you can still be able to write on your printable planner page. So here I am putting that rectangle in the Tuesday spot and I'm just using it to be able to center that text within the column. And then I'll also do it for Sunday's column as well. And so once I have all the text centered, I'm going to delete that extra rectangle. And so now I'm going through and putting in the other days of the week. Hit C on your keyboard to bring up a circle. I'm going to make it smaller and move it up under the days of the week. 
And basically what this circle is going to be for is when you print out the printable page, you're just going to write in the number day that it is. And so originally I was going to have it this dark gray color, but later on I decided to change it to a light color because the dark gray may be a little bit hard to write on top of. And with the circles as well, I'm doing an alternating theme where the column that is white gets the darker color circle and the light gray column gets the white circle. Then I select both the gray and the white circle, hit Ctrl D on my keyboard, and move the duplicate copy over to Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'm going to add a border to the circle. Click on your circle, head to border style, select the solid line, and change the border weight to one. So after I have my header and my rectangles where I want them, I'm going to copy and paste the time slots. And then I'm going to move the time blocks into each individual column. And so here's that first weekly page. If you head to the top of each page, there's a little icon that says duplicate page. I'm going to click on this to duplicate page one. And after I duplicated that page, I went back up to page one and titled that page Sunday through Wednesday weekly. I scrolled down to page two to name that page Thursday through Saturday weekly. And so all I have to do for this page is add Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then change that last column to a notes column. And all I'm doing for the next week column is deleting all of the time text boxes. And then I'm just going to shift up the lines and then add in a couple more to fill in the column. And again, I'm going to head to the little icon above the page that says duplicate page. And I'm going to title this page daily. And for this page, I'm going to take the Friday and Saturday column and delete those. Then I'm going to take the Thursday column and expand it to fit that empty space. And it's going to be an expanded time blocking page. And you would use one for each day. So I hit L on my keyboard to bring up a line. I'm going to head to line style and change the line weight to two and make it a dotted line. So I'm deleting the text box and taking the line and the circle and moving it to the center. And this line will be where you'd write the date. So now I'm going to scroll to the bottom of page three and click on add page. So I named this page semester calendar. And the semester quarter calendar is basically going to be a weekly calendar but by weeks. So each week will be its own calendar strip. So to do that, I'm going to head over to elements, which is in the left side panel. I'm going to scroll down to tables, and then I'm going to pick this one here. Once you select your table, you'll have to make adjustments to it. So since this is going to be a weekly calendar, we're going to need seven columns. But first, I'm going to change the color of the top line of the table to a light gray color. But we need seven columns. So to do that, head to the upper right hand corner of the table and click on the plus until you get the number of columns that you need. So once you have that, we're going to need to delete these rows. So you want to go to the row that you want to delete and click on the three dots next to it. Once you click on the three dots, hit delete row. So now this only leaves us that top row, which will have the days of the week, and the bottom row, which would be where a person would write their assignments or things that are due for that week. So I'm going to drag the left and right sides of the table to fit the margins of the page. If you click on the three dots to the left of the table and scroll down to size columns equally, it'll make all of your columns the same size within your table. So now it's time to add the days of the week to the table. If you click within the top cell, it shows a cursor where you can begin to type in the cell. So I'm just going to go through and type each of the days of the week. In this text box, I'm just going to write in week of and put a line. So that way, whoever's using this printable planner page can write which week this calendar is for. 
So once I have that how I want it, I'm going to select the week of and also the table and duplicate it three more times on the page. And so this page would be beneficial if someone likes to plan per quarter or per semester. So if your semester is 16 weeks long, you would need four copies of the semester calendar. So I'm going to head down to the bottom of this page and click on add page. And the fifth and final page is a monthly calendar page. So I'm actually going to take one of the tables from page four and copy and paste it into page five. By selecting the table and hitting control C on my keyboard and then going down to page five and hitting control V on my keyboard to paste it. So now since I have all of the days of the week already in there, I just need to head over to the left side of the table, click those three dots and hit add row until I have six rows. So I hit L on my keyboard to bring up a line. Head up to line style and change the line weight to one. I'm going to hit R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And basically what I'm trying to set up is like a box that you can kind of put anything you need to focus on for this month. So I'm going to move my rectangle to the upper left hand corner. If I click on color, I'm going to have it have no color. I'm going to choose the border option and add a border. I'm going to change the border weight to one. And then I'm just going to take the line that I have and put a few copies of that line within this box. And then I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to bring up a text box. And then you can put whatever words you want to put here in this box. I started by putting to do this month and then I just changed it to say this month. And once I have this box set up, I'm actually going to copy and paste it underneath the calendar and it'll say next month. So you can write down things you need to do for the following month. So here I am deleting a couple of the lines within this box because I'm going to put it above the calendar and I'm going to extend it to fit the width of the calendar. And whoever's using this printable page would just have to write what month it is above this box. So now I'm scrolling back up to page three and copying the two circles with the line that I put at the top of the page. I'm going to copy it, scroll back down to page five and paste it. And so here is where you'd write the month. And so now for this box, I'm going to select the box and the lines and extend it to fit the width of the calendar. And so now I'm just going to go through the pages and make some minor changes like changing the font and the color of certain elements. So when I designed these printable planner pages, I had in mind a college student. I know there's people headed back to school if they're not already there. And I know they'll be needing a way to keep track of everything that they have going on. So if you head to the description below, you can purchase these printable planner pages. So we have our monthly calendar, our semester quarter calendar, our daily calendar, our Thursday through Saturday weekly, and our Sunday through Wednesday weekly. So once you have all of your pages designed, now it's time to download them. Head to share in the upper right hand corner. Head to download. Click the drop down so we can change the file type to PDF print. I'm going to select flatten PDF. It says flattening your PDF converts content of the design into a single image per page. It may increase the file size. 
and then you would select the pages that you want to download. So in this case, I'm just going to download all of the pages. Once you do that, hit done, and then hit download. I also have another video where I showed you how to create a weekly printable planner page. If you want to see that tutorial, I'll have it linked in the description below. So here are all of the printable planner pages we designed in this video. And this concludes the video on how to create printable planner pages in Canva that you can sell on Etsy. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a video. Remember to check the description box for these printable planner pages that I have available on Etsy. And as always, thanks for watching.